moving on. We have a geography section here that consists of two parts. One that is very basic about Tennessee and its borders and rivers and cities, and one that targets seventh graders in which we talk about the six physical regions of Tennessee, mining, agriculture, and all that sort of thing. In this section, you'll learn about coal and about cotton and about the uses of corn. Okay, now for a great moment in the history of Tennessee History for Kids. Usually he's here today and he makes a lot of valuable things that we need around here in the station. Um. <laughs> that, was, what they call, is that what they call a blurb? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I'll take. <laughs> well, you told me what, Bill. Not, what not to say now. I'm like, uh. Next, there's a section called Virtual Tours. Now, talk about cool. There are many fascinating field trip destinations in Tennessee, places like the Memphis Cotton Exchange, the Hermitage, Old Stone Fort, and the Great Fossil Site. But well, we've been to many of them, and each time we go, we take pictures and scan in maps and give you a long description of why a place is important and what we can learn from it. So take Fort Donaldson, for instance. We show you what the place looks like, who took part in the battle, and why this area was so important at the time, and basically tell you what you see when you come here now. Not all these virtual tours are actually places that are in Tennessee. For example, Cherokee culture and history are really important in Tennessee, which is why we went to Cherokee, North Carolina and did a virtual tour of the Museum of the Cherokee Indian. And your American history book may talk about the Alamo, but it probably doesn't give you an, all the Tennessee connections to the Alamo. We went there and did a virtual tour. Oh, and speaking of the Alamo, we did a video there. Here's a great scene from it. It wasn't anything like it is. <laughs> Sorry. All right, it's okay. That wasn't the scene I was hoping for. Okay, below virtual tours, you'll find these things called county history pages. Now, there are 95 counties in Tennessee. Each of them has its own page of county history. The idea here is not to become the final destination for all of local history, but just to give students across the state an idea of what makes Tennessee such an interesting place to live. So for each county, you'll have at least two interesting things, plus a photograph of the county courthouse. So it's here in the county history section that you'll learn about which county is associated with fainting goats, which one is associated with blow pops, which one's associated with the tent city movement from the 1950s, and which one with the Melungeons. People have a lot of fun with these county history pages. After these, you will find the city history pages, which tell you more about the histories of Tennessee's larger cities. On the Chattanooga page, for instance, will tell you all about the Chickamaugans, about the Civil War, about TVA, and about that city's connection to Coca-Cola, Crystal, and the Moon Pie. <laughs> moon Pie. Working our, way <clears throat> working our way down the nav bar, the next thing on the list is an interactive quiz. This is a pretty interesting little tool. Since we've created it, more than 10,000 people have used it to get ready for the TCAP test, brush up on their history, or just compete against their little brother. The way the quiz works is that you say what grade level you want, and then type in a number of questions, and away you go. After you finish, you can print it out and put your name on it. And the last thing I want to talk about on this video is, oh, well, the videos. In 2007, Tennessee History for Kids started producing short films to better bring the history of Tennessee to life. Many of them are historic and feature reenactors that portray characters such as Abraham Lincoln, Daniel Boone, Little Carpenter, and other folks from history. A couple of the videos have more of a focus on geography or civics. The idea here is to make learning about Tennessee fun. Closer together though. I'm not getting paid enough for this. <laughs> but who's writing Tennessee History for Kids? Now that's a good question and you should always ask yourself that question when you're reading stuff. The main writer of the Tennessee History for Kids website is me, Bill Carey. 
You see, I'm not just History Bill, but I'm also Bill Carey, and I'm a former newspaper reporter who's written a lot of local history books about Middle Tennessee. Having said that, I don't count on myself to do all the Tennessee History for Kids research and fact-checking, not hardly. In fact, every word that you'll find on Tennessee History for Kids has been edited and fact-checked by at least two people who are either K-12 through teachers, college professors who teach Tennessee history, or people who are experts on certain Tennessee history-related subjects. For example, a state park ranger would be somebody who's expert on his park. For the fifth grade section, for instance, you'll see the names of four teachers who helped me research and write the section. If you look, you'll see that they're from Chester County, Polk County, Jefferson County, and Roan County, all over the place. There's more to the site, believe me. Feel free to roam around and look here and there, but I do want to say one other thing in parting. Tennessee History for Kids needs its sponsors to continue to exist. If you know an organization, company, or foundation that would like to help sponsor Tennessee History for Kids, please ask them to contact me at bill at tnhistoryforkids.org. And now, by popular demand, even more Tennessee History for Kids bloopers. Near a small area called Com uh, Well, really? <laughs> so I'm not the only one. I, I keep meeting. Start over. Uh, West Tennessee. Yes. The town of. You can say it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Indeed. 1791. Yes, it is. Newspaper. Tennessee. That's what Tennessee. We. Ten you, Tennessee. Tennessee. Well, that, we, we call it tennis. We, well, you say him wrong, but it, it, I still me. know what you say. Absolutely. Well, what are they doing here? Well, time out. Hmm. Hey, this is made from wampum shell. Time out. Good luck. All right. I hope I didn't do too bad. Hay bales. To try to sell. I think next time I'll, I'll ride a bike. <clears throat> go, Bill, go! Go where? Thank <laughs> you.